Norway is embarking on a one-of-a-kind venture to construct the world's first full-scale shipping tunnel. It might be the country's biggest engineering feat yet. Boring through a 300-meter high mountain, the new tunnel will allow ships to navigate more safely through a dangerously exposed part of the sea. Designed to accommodate some of the largest ships weighing up to 16,000 tons, this architectural wonder will revolutionize maritime travel. Today, let's examine all the fascinating details about this tunnel and discuss what innovative methods and technologies are being used to bring this mega project to life. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Norway, situated on the Scandinavian peninsula spanning 385,000 square kilometers, boasts a population of 5.4 million. It shares borders with Sweden, Finland, Russia, and the United Kingdom to the southwest. Characterized by rugged terrain, including hills and towering mountains, Norway is also graced with a western coastline. Given its geographical features, the country has developed a network of roads featuring numerous tunnels cutting through mountains. This infrastructure is primarily aimed at enhancing safety and security for residents, given Norway's susceptibility to strong winds and landslides. These tunnels serve as vital channels for safer travel, shielding drivers from potential hazards. Renowned globally for its extensive tunnel network, Norway is often dubbed the country of 1001 tunnels. Among Norway's extensive tunnel network, one of the most notable is the Lerdal Tunnel, stretching an impressive 24.5 kilometers and requiring around 20 minutes to cross. Norway has unveiled plans for another remarkable engineering feat, the Stadship Tunnel, designed specifically for accommodating large vessels. This tunnel is projected to span 1.7 kilometers in length, standing 37 meters high, 26.5 meters wide, with a depth of up to 12 meters. Its dimensions are tailored to accommodate ships weighing up to 16,000 tons, including cruise ships. The rationale behind constructing this tunnel is to offer an alternative passage for large ships bypassing the perilous conditions often encountered in the Stad Peninsula area. This region is notorious for its severe weather, strong currents, and frequent storms, which have led to numerous maritime accidents and loss of life. Even the seafaring Vikings, renowned for their maritime prowess, were hesitant to navigate the treacherous waters of the Stad Peninsula. When unavoidable, they resorted to physically hauling their boats overland, a laborious task that consumed hours. During World War II, the Stad Peninsula gained notoriety as the most perilous stretch along the Norwegian coast, witnessing at least 33 fatalities from maritime mishaps. Consequently, many ships opted to postpone their voyages until conditions in the area improved, causing significant delays in maritime travel. The construction of the Stad Ship Tunnel is heralded as a long-awaited solution to a problem that has plagued sailors for over a millennium. In fact, the concept of such a tunnel dates back to 1874, nearly 150 years ago. This early proposal envisioned a railway tunnel traversing the peninsula, equipped with a system designed to lift boats onto carriages for transport across the landmass. Regrettably, the early proposals for a tunnel across the Stad Peninsula did not materialize. However, in the 1990s and 2000s, approximately a century after the initial concept was discussed, renewed interest in public discourse reignited discussions about the project. In 2013, plans for the Stad Ship Tunnel were formally incorporated into Norway's National Transport Plan for the period spanning 2014 to 2023, with a dedicated budget of 1 billion Norwegian kroner allocated for its realization. Over subsequent years, the Norwegian Coastal Administration diligently conducted research into the tunnel construction project. Finally, in March 2021, the Norwegian Ministry of Transportation and Communication granted approval for the commencement of preparations for this monumental endeavor. Since then, progress on the tunnel project has been ongoing. Initially slated to commence in 2022, Construction was delayed due to the innovative nature of the project, 
necessitating refinements in the process. Unlike conventional road tunnels, the Stodship Tunnel must be engineered to withstand fog, seawater, and other extreme conditions, presenting a novel challenge for both contractors and the Norwegian government alike. On January 31, 2023, Authorities convened a conference for potential contractors interested in undertaking the monumental Stadship Tunnel project. Following this event, the Norwegian Coastal Administration held a competition and finalized contract signings. Construction is anticipated to commence toward the end of 2024, with the project expected to take approximately five to six years to complete. Assuming smooth progress devoid of setbacks, the ship tunnel is projected to be finished by 2028 or 2029. The estimated cost for the construction of the Stad ship tunnel is 2.8 billion Norwegian kroner, equivalent to approximately $260 million. However, recent reports suggest that the project's expenses could escalate to as much as $300 million. The construction process of the tunnel will commence with excavation utilizing similar methods employed in the construction of conventional roads, involving underground drilling. Conventional drilling will be supplemented with the use of explosives to aid in the excavation process. The precise execution of underground drilling necessitates the expertise of specialists in this field. Construction is likely to initiate from opposite ends of the peninsula, eventually connecting to form two interconnected tunnels at the center. Subsequent to drilling, the tunnel's roof and walls will require reinforcement with concrete to ensure stability before service lanes can be added. Upon completion of the roof, material excavation can commence. Material excavation inside the tunnel proceeds gradually, layer by layer, descending downward. Prior to tunnel excavation, Temporary barriers or cofferdams are erected at each entrance. Their primary function is to prevent seawater access into the tunnel, facilitating material excavation beneath the sea surface. Once excavation reaches completion, workers will commence the installation of lighting fixtures on the tunnel's roof, allowing for a controlled flooding process before the cofferdams are cleared. In total, the material excavation within the tunnel yields approximately 5.4 million cubic meters of rock, equivalent to roughly 750,000 truckloads. These rocks will be relocated, with some earmarked for recycling in future projects. However, transporting such vast quantities of material from the site poses challenges due to the inadequate road infrastructure surrounding the peninsula. To ease the material transportation process, Barges are needed to transport the rock material from the location. Similar to other pioneering projects worldwide, extensive research and testing have been conducted to ensure the viability of the Stad Ship Tunnel. These research and testing endeavors for this monumental tunnel construction initiative commenced long before official approval was granted. Moreover, the incident involving a large ship getting lodged in the Suez Canal heightened concerns among researchers. The potential repercussions of a disruption in this vital shipping artery on global trade underscored the importance of meticulous planning. One of the key tests conducted prior to the construction of the Stad Ship Tunnel involved the creation of a replica tunnel in a testing pool situated in Trondheim. Through simulations in this controlled environment, researchers determined that ships could safely traverse the lengthy tunnel without colliding with its walls. Additionally, alongside physical testing, researchers developed a digital model of the tunnel to visualize ship approaches and traffic management strategies. This digital simulation enabled researchers to optimize traffic flow within the tunnel. Based on these comprehensive tests, it was determined that the Stad Ship Tunnel will implement traffic light systems at each tunnel entrance. It has been established that on average, the tunnel can accommodate up to five large ships per hour, maintaining a minimum distance of 400 meters between them. However, this capacity can be further increased, as smaller vessels may be permitted to navigate side by side. Meanwhile, the ships traversing through this extensive tunnel will be constrained to a maximum speed of just five knots. The construction of the Stad Ship Tunnel promises manifold benefits for Norway. Primarily, 
it is projected to reduce travel distances by 56 kilometers, likely enhancing safety and mitigating the risk of maritime accidents and fatalities. Furthermore, beyond boosting ship safety, the presence of this lengthy tunnel will contribute to the prosperity of Norway's coastal regions, renowned for their vibrant tourism and fishing industries. This initiative is anticipated to yield favorable economic outcomes, particularly for local Norwegian economies. Several regions are poised to reap economic benefits from the tunnel construction. Moreover, the introduction of an alternative shipping route holds the potential to curtail travel durations and reduce transportation expenditures, notably in terms of ship fuel costs. According to researchers, fuel consumption for vessels passing through the tunnel is expected to decrease by approximately 30 to 60 percent, depending on the length of the ship. Such advancements can yield positive environmental ramifications, contributing to reduced emissions and environmental impact on Earth. What are your thoughts on this extraordinary ship tunnel? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.